Hey YouTube, that Brady chick here. So as you can see, I got my beads back in. The last time I did it, my hair was blow dried prior to twisting my hair and putting beads on it. This time, I did not blow dry my hair. So this is pretty much mini twists with beads on non-stretched hair. Do you see much of a difference? I can insert a comparison picture right here of when my hair was blow dried with the beads in and now with my hair non-stretched with the beads in. Not much of a difference, not sure why, but I'll try to tackle that one later because I believe the stretched style should look stretched, especially with beads on, really. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is that I'm going to show you guys just little variations you can do with your mini twists times beads or mini twists and beads style. Sorry, I like to be short form, so I just put times beads. But anyways, this is actually one of the styles that I like to go with. This is my little high ponytail. My brother calls it the Serena Williams style. I'm not really into celebrities like that, so I don't really know what reference he's referring to, but if I look like her with this hair, then I look like her. I don't know. This is the other side. Yeah, so I kind of just like push all of my hair up, cut it towards my crown, and then I just secured it with a uh, rubber band, a big rubber band by the way, which is probably key, but I'll explain why later. And then I kind of just like left little pieces out just to kind of make it look a little bit effortless, I guess. Also with my bangs, I secured them to the side as well with a bobby pin, which is why you see the bottom of them here and here. But honestly, it kind of like goes with the look, if that makes sense. You know, I think it's very effortless, it's cute and it's out of my face which i like you know i just actually came back from doing some errands and i actually got a lot of compliments on my hairstyle like people actually really liked it with the exception of my brother who called me serena williams but i don't know if that's a compliment or an insult you let me know i'm not sure <laughs> oh, that's the thing like it's kind of a struggle taking these out Ugh. also if you just want to go the simple route you can also just leave your hair out just like this. I forgot to tell you guys, but I also put bobby pins over here and one over here just to kind of like keep my bangs out of my face. Um, I like it better that way because when my hair is in my face, I feel like I can't concentrate. I don't know why. Oh, let's see the back. Let's see some of the length, shall we? Oh, I should take a picture like that. Hold on. Okay, let me show you some twist style. So this is one that I prefer to wear to the gym. It's really easy. All you gotta do is split it down the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine clearly is not. And then you grab one side and you could keep your hair kind of pinned to the side like I do if you like, but it's really just based on preference. I'm just gonna keep it pinned for my own um, preference. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. All right, so the easy two pigtail looks, not much to it. I'm sure this one doesn't really need much explaining at all. It's a simple pigtail look. Like, I don't know how else to explain it, but yeah, this is how it looks. This is what it looks like. Okay, moving on. When you're taking out your ponytail holders or rubber bands, whatever you like to call it, be super gentle because you can probably pop out the beads. Not that it's going to harm your hair depending on if you added product before putting on the beads. Because if you did add product before putting on the beads, then it's probably not gonna harm your hair and it's probably just gonna slip off the bead and you just have to reapply it. But it's pretty annoying having to reapply it, so just be careful, okay? We could do a low ponytail. So for this, I'm actually going to take out the bobby pen because I feel like it's gonna hurt me just a little bit, just a tad. And that's too. If you like your hair in your face, you can definitely wear it as such. But I don't prefer that because I feel like I'll have to do this all the time and I might injure myself in the process because the beads are going to slap me in the face. Like someone we know. Not going to say his name, but he is a celebrity. <laughs> Anyways. 
So just to quickly explain what's happening here, I'm definitely not trying to injure myself or anything, but um, I typically take my larger elastic bands and I put them around my neck because I feel like it's just easier to kind of wrap it around my hair from that starting point. That is all. So yeah, I'm just using my bigger ponytail holder. It's really a headband, but I use it as a ponytail holder. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that face was. What I do is I pretty much just tighten it like this. Uh, you don't have to tighten it too much, but I guess we'll give it another shot. Sometimes gravity is on your side with these things. Ugh. See what I mean by struggle? You see? Okay. Okay, so some of it might- Ooh, that's actually cute though. This is my ponytail. <laughs> so this was with, um, three ties, right? Cause I tied it three times. Yeah, actually I wanna see how the back looks. Sorry, give me a sec. Ooh, better than I thought. Funny, cause this wasn't even my first pick. Like I, I'm thoroughly impressed. I like it, I like it a lot. Okay, anyway, moving on. All right, so we had enough fun with the low ponytail. So now we gotta switch it up and go with something else. So let's carefully take out our hair tie. So I try to look for the loosest part of it first, right? And then I extend it upwards, just so I'm allowing for that opening to emerge. Woo! Gotta be so careful. Like I said, gravity's on your side. Okay, I feel it loosening. It's working. Oh, do we have it? Or do we have a problem? Do we have a problem? Nope, we're good. <laughs> so, sometimes you'll just need ponytail holders that are really headbands in order to do some of these hairstyles, okay? So be prepared for that. Let's draw half up, half down, cause you know, it's an easy style. So for that, you don't need any type of big ponytail holder. You can literally just use a regular one without the metal clasp, preferably. Because this twist right here is very, very short, I'm gonna leave it out with a few other twists in the front. And I do so because for one, it kind of like reduces tension on those twists because you're not pulling them back or anything. And it contributes to that effortless look that I mentioned before. And then you can do the same with this part. Just pull it all the way back. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as you got a little ponytail at the top. Like that. And once you're satisfied, which I am not yet, give me a minute. You could just pull it up like that. And then just wrap the ponytail holder around it. This is how it can look. Right, you got your half up, half down. So you got your hair down. Oh, it's kind of cute. Right? Just like that. And you're more than welcome to also pin up the sides, just like I was showing you in the beginning, so that your hair is not so much in your face. So I'm gonna try that now. So I'm taking these. And I'm pinning them to the side, just like that. And then you wanna hide the bobby pin in there, right? And then take your other ones and do the same on the other side, right? Just like that. Easy breezy, effortless. I mean, I think this is too out of my face now, but it's just for reference. But yeah, that's how you can do it. Half up, half down. Hello. 
half up half down very easy effortless style and you're ready to go so that's the half up half down so now we're gonna take that down to take the back pieces of my hair and I'm leaving some front pieces out just for some dramatic effect or 90s effect I don't know and take my big elastic band and tying it around there Okay, that is not the best, so I'm gonna take a small elastic band and turn that into an actual bun. The things I do for y'all. Cause I don't think in real life I, like, sorry, what? Actually, no, that's kind of cute. Never mind. Eating my words. Hey, right, let's see how it looks on the other side. Okay, girl, this looks super 90s. I'm thoroughly impressed, but it's not looking too bad, if I may say so myself. Don't know if I used the same amount of hair on this side, but I guess we're about to find out. Take the other one. I think especially with the pieces left out, it's pretty darn cute, you know? The back, it's probably a different story. <laughs> like, sue me, I don't have a mirror behind me, so I can't make my parts very, mm, you know? I can't make them spick and span like some of you guys, but I tried my best, it doesn't look too bad, so this is what we're working with. Here's a 360. Don't judge me. And the other side. If I were really trying, I'd probably try to make that part perfect, but it's just a video. It's just a baby. So this is my space buns look, and I actually am digging it. Some of my beads are getting just pulled out right now, or are just getting pulled out right now. See this one? You can see the elastic band is choking. It wants to come out. But I will not let it, not until I'm ready. But yeah, so, we can move on. <laughs> and that line will move in this side, out of the way. Moving on to the next style. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of hair on each side while leaving most of my hair down. You know, you don't even have to like triple tie it or anything. It can be a very loose ponytail and then do the same on the other side. Okay, so this is the other style. Okay, it's pretty much like, it's it's giving like punk rock, I guess. I don't know. I had that phase in middle school, not going back. The last time I left my hair in beads, this was kind of my go-to style before I realized that I could do other styles. <laughs> then this became a little bit lower on that list. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely an option too. It's just like two pigtails, but everything else is down So I guess it's like half up half down pigtails. I don't know whatever you want to call it But yeah, my bangs are just pinned to the side because I don't like them in my face And I'm gonna give you a quick thrice sex day side view back Oops, Ouch. And other side yeah, so it's not very even, but it'll do. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know? You know? Just has to look good at the front. <laughs> Moving on to the next style. Okay. I went through a lot of the lower styles, so let's move on to the higher ones. So, these ones are a little tricky because I definitely do like to leave pieces out for my high styles. Just because they look more... stylish. So the first one I'm going to do is actually my high ponytail that I was trying to show you guys earlier. 
because I feel like that's the easiest thing to do. No, it's not. <laughs> but yeah, so what I did earlier to achieve it is I pretty much brought all my hair up piece, or not piece by piece, but section by section. So this is one section that I'm kind of smoothing upwards right now, kind of as though I were to do a half up, half down style, but I'm actually not. <laughs> I'm tricking my hair right now, right? So now I'm working with another section and smoothing it up, right? Bringing it as close to the front of my head as possible. All right, when you're satisfied with that, you can start bringing some of the other stuff up. Okay, so continuing with the high pony. Ugh. You kind of just keep smoothing things to the top or bringing them to the top. So this is more like a middle pony, not low, not high, just in the middle. So I'm gonna kind of work with gravity again. <laughs> and bring it a little higher. And even then, it's not that high. Okay, I think this is high enough. Now we're gonna take our big old elastic band. This is the hard part. This is more of a side ponytail, but it'll have to do. I don't know what to tell you. So this is the side back and other side. And as you can see, it doesn't look as similar to the first ponytail that I kind of entered into this video with, but you know, this one's fine too. You know, and you can still pin up your bangs to the side, just so they're not in your face. Just like that. It's like a cute little style. Effortless, but not my favorite, you know? Last but not least, we're gonna try to do a bun from that. Okay, let's carefully take this out. Can even do something like this but it'll be hard let me just let you know from now so i actually want to grab one of these pieces to make it look more stylish so just to keep it out of the way i'm just gonna bobby pin these pieces together so that they're not in my way <laughs> so now with this you want it as close to the front as humanly possible So you see how this is kind of sticking up awkwardly here? So you could take this bobby pin out, right? And you could put the bangs over top of it so that you got a cute little flattened piece, right? See, now it's a little bit flatter. And you got a little statement piece to the side. Okay, so if you want to make the bun a little bit um, tighter, you can just add your smaller ponytail. In the middle is this gonna work? I'm not even gonna like double tie it. I'm just gonna put like just one. I'm just gonna put it on top. That's it. There you go. And you can just kind of shift it to the middle, finesse it a little bit, and there you have it. A top knot bun. <sighs> That's actually so you. Mm, I like it. I like it a lot. I don't know how the back of the bun looks though. You know what I'm saying? But the front looks good. Sometimes that's all that matters, right? As long as the front looks good. So yeah, this is the front view. Side. And the top, I guess. This is the other side. And if you think it looks a little bit bare on this side, you can definitely take some of your you know your other side bangs and pin them to the side and maybe like put some little sideburn pieces as well just to make it look more 
statement-y. <laughs> if you prefer. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. I want to thank you guys again for watching. This was that Brady chick with her mini twists and her beads. So this is a nice little protective style that's actually very cute. Like not only does it protect, but it's cute too. You get the best of both worlds kind of thing. Girl, you can't go wrong. Like you're protecting your hair and looking stylish doing it. This looks like a crown crazy but anyways that's all i have for you guys today thanks again for watching and always remember natural hair grows don't you forget it bye sometimes it's just a little bit of gravity <laughs> whoa <laughs> that's a little creepy jay it's a little bit creepy